Howdy y'all, Montreal. Thought I'd show you where I had to uh, get into last night. And of course I got here after dark, but basically, sorry I've been pulling tarps and breathing a little bit on that, on that mask and stuff. Uh, there's a little black car over there. Pulled in there, turned around, back down through here. Uh, last night there was a truck right here. So as you can see, pretty tight. This might give you a perspective on the size. It looks like a big area, but of course it won't zoom today. There's my tractor. You have to just clear. I think you might be able to see my tire tracks. You just have to clear this glass rack. Last time they were out farther, so they've moved them. But uh, you have to put it in there. It's a blind side back all the way around here. As you can see, maybe you can see. I don't know why this thing will not zoom. There it goes. As you can see, I'm in there getting unloaded. But once you get in there, and you pull all the way up to this guy to do your overnight parking. Your trailer's way back here somewhere. So as you can see, it's, it's a tight area. I've been in worse, but this one's up there. Yes, sir, that's uh, high quality. My friends and family. I found out if you give people money, they will give you chocolate. Um, good run tonight, just a um, little bit of traffic issues. Um, more so just inconsiderate people, uh, just won't let you over, won't let you merge, stuff like that. It's, um, the only real issue I had, I had an explosion, I don't know how what else to call it. I, Decided to reach down the floor of my truck and grab a Mountain Dew out of the deal there. And uh, I twisted the cap off and it was geyser. I mean, it was on the steering wheel. It was down my shirt. It was on the seat. It was on the console. <laughs> I ended up having to pull into a rest area and clean everything up. I had soda everywhere. And then everything immediately got sticky, of course. Um, I called the shop about the light. And uh, this was their advice for now. Just take it out. So I took it out. It's laying in the seat. Um, they believe it's a wiring issue or a man. What they tell programming. I'm like, you're really kidding me here. You got to program lights to come on when I push a button on the dash. You know, it ain't no wonder these things are just wiring nightmares. Um, but that's where we are. Uh, press glass, good run. I did get the dash cam to work. Um, the chip was protected, and I could not unprotect it. So it would not rewrite over what was already there. So even when I went in and formatted the chip, and I went to default settings, I had somehow, or the it did, probably me, had protected all the previous videos. So when I go in and look at it, it's completely full. The chip is full. And I'm like, why well, won't this thing rewrite, rewrite over what's existing, which is what it's supposed to do. Continually loop. And there's a button I can push up there that will save, you know, somebody cuts me off, somebody does something stupid, um, or I need to save a video. I can push a button and it will lock that video and save it. I, now I can go in and individually unlock that. But I had days and days and days and days of videos I'd have to touch on, unlock it, delete it. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. And I mean, it was just, it would have been hours. Um, other than that, the light going on and off all night while you're trying to drive in the dark. But uh, we got it fixed for now. Probably, we'll probably be headed to Lornburg. Got an issue with the trailer. Um, 20 holes in the tarp. I'm talking some this big couple tears that long um, and it's really strange because some places will be like we will not accept any glass that's wet 
and then when you go to other places we won't accept any glass that's wet it's all stacked up outside so it's probably whatever the finished project product is is, is probably the the entire issue um but we'll see you